Hey guys, I just want to be able to share a rapture dream that I had in 2002. At that time, I was only 12 years old. So, at that time frame, I had given my life to Christ and I uh, started reading the Bible and learning little by little who Jesus was. One night I was on the phone with a friend named Sabrina and I had asked her, so have you ever had any dreams about God? And she said, yes, but I didn't ask her what kind of dreams. So that night I ended up having a dream about Jesus. And my dream started off me being young, um, or maybe a little bit younger. And I was sitting Indian style on the floor watching a show. And then the screen had stretched and got bigger. And then I was lifted off my feet and I was immediately in clouds I looked around and I saw a lot of people standing before Jesus and he was wearing a white robe with a red sash and he was speaking to a man and a lady that were right in front of me and the man had a baby blue robe and the woman had a light pink robe both light skin and brown hair and spoke a different language and of course a different descent because Jesus was speaking to them in a language I didn't know. At first, he didn't let me hear what he was saying to them. He sounded like a uh, rippling water. I couldn't really understand. Uh, then he had lifted his left hand and he said the words, Va vu, and they had flown up. I did my research and the words that I have been led to um, were go flight and it is in Portuguese so I don't know Portuguese uh, I don't know any other language besides English so uh, that actually just blew my mind when I had researched what Vavu means V A H V O O. So they flown up, and I knew immediately where they were going. They were going to heaven. Then, as Jesus was walking up to me, he got larger, and his clothing changed, going from the red sash over a white robe to a drapey all white robe and uh, gold trimmings and he had some sandals that looked like those gladiator sandals I, I think I couldn't really see I could just see his toes and the start of the sandals and he looked uh, light skin from from the complexion of his toes and they were made out of gold almost like a bronze and I knew he was where he was able to read everything I was thinking he read my entire my entire mind like a book and I knew that he knew that I knew 
why we were both silent. It was crazy. Then, uh, before he could speak to me, I had told myself, and I knew he heard what I said to myself in my mind. I told myself with confidence, actually, because I wasn't a child in my dream. I was already an adult. And I had told myself, I just want to see his face. So he knew I said that. And he's watching me struggle, trying to lift my head. And for some reason, I couldn't lift my head. So I had went as far as his feet. Then I put my chin down to my chest. And I said, I, got, I just have to see his face. And I lifted my head. And it was like, so it was too heavy or something. I couldn't go as far as his torso. And then I put my head back down and I said, I just have to see his face. And I lifted my head all the way to where my head can reach the back of my uh, neck. I can feel the back of my head to my neck. And it was, he was just really white. Uh, it was just, he was so white. I just, I woke up. Um, that was my dream in 2002. Um, then I had a uh, dreams, you know, happening again in 2011 and maybe 2012, uh, I guess in 2015, you know, things like that, because, uh, those other dreams were of tribulation. So I had dreams of, um, tornadoes like monster tornadoes, um, massive earthquakes, uh, just, um, just a bunch of, I'm going to say a, a, a huge tsunami as well, fires and demonic things you know uh alien type demonic things as well so i i just i'll get into that into another video but recently a month ago i had a dream about the rapture again and i, I didn't tell you my first rapture dream i i was going around telling everybody for years it was a judgment day dream so um then i realized that uh, I just re recently realized it had been a rapture dream the whole time. So my second rapture dream was last month in June. And uh, it was about, you know, uh, but prior to bed, I had prayed to Jesus. And I said, God, if this is it, if you are really coming so soon, and this is it. May, may I please have a dream? And if you are willing, please give me a dream. And uh, I probably had went to bed like within 20 minutes. And then immediately I had a dream. And that was the only dream I had that entire time lasting about two seconds duration. And I thought it was very insignificant. I, I didn't want to share because I thought it was just nothing until I realized it was something. So in my dream, I was uh, outside on my in my backyard. And I was already looking up in the sky. And it was summertime, the same as now. Trees blowing, the same as now blue skies the same as right now and I was already looking up and you know Jesus says to, to be sober and to, to be awake so in my dream I was just like I'm awake I'm looking I'm waiting and my soul had said to me it's weird my soul had said to me he is coming in two seconds and before 
I could see anything, my my toddler had woken me up. And I do, do believe that God did that on purpose so that um, I wouldn't see any more of it. Um, that dream left me wondering, you know, even more. So I've been praying on my knees, worshiping and praying and just telling God, I, uh, God, when my girls go, I'm going, I'm going and I'm going to do, you know, whatever it takes, you know, to, to know you and to just repent and just be about you, but I'm going. And in the back of my mind, I was concerned that, you know, um, what if, what if I don't? So then again, I, you know, I was thinking also, I know I will. So clashing both of those together, I have a strong belief that I have a chance of going. I told God, I said, these dreams that you've given me, they were for a reason. You have given me these dreams and and in my life, you have taken care of me very well. And you have made a huge promise to me. And you spoke to me to where I heard you in my heart very loudly. You are calling to me and you have your reason. So there should be no reason why you wouldn't be sticking around here this long in my life. There's a reason. So that's where my confidence really rely on is that he's, he's, he's not letting me go. And I know this. So I had a dream about three nights ago. So this is so recent. And that was concerning my prayer. That was about my, my prayer. And in that one, I, I just thought, you know, had a regular dream and I forgot about it. And then, and then it went on to that rapture dream. And in that dream, I was walking, strolling at a park with my three daughters. And, uh, I had one in the stroller and two on my sides and we were walking and I noticed on my left side on the grass, there were um, people, people setting up a stage for someone's, uh, intro, you know, somebody important apparently. And, uh, it was like a bunch of, uh, media and it was, um, politics and things like that of that nature. And then I looked up in the sky and I realized that the sky was really, really beautiful. I had many ranges of colors um anything you could think of that you've ever seen in the sky uh, i had seen lavenders pinks blues uh oranges peaches yellow uh in th those ranges but all at once and then i noticed there was a bunch of movement in the clouds and i knew in my spirit in my dream my spirit in my dream i knew that there was a stage getting set up for for the return of, of you know of Jesus to take his church and so I saw angels like they were getting ready as well as the stage on the grass was getting ready so the world and the heaven it seemed all of a sudden I see this angel I believe an archangel he was slender, he was tall, and he had um, went in front of the clouds, and he looked like he was looking at me. And then he was holding in his left hand uh, a very long, uh, dark bronze or golden looking trumpet. And he gave this deep, deep breath, and I can see his chest building. 
and he puts the instrument between his lips and he let out the trumpet sound and it sounded like this like I, I, I'm sorry that was so horrible but if you can understand what I'm what I mean um, not even in the V sound I, I can't do a trumpet um, so when he let that out he had called every like every attention to be pointed to the sky immediately I after I had seen that I had looked down and I realized my daughters were gone and as soon as they were gone immediately um, the person they were setting up for on stage in the earth was the Antichrist who had walked out on stage um, in pretty much sheep's clothing and I looked up fast and I said Jesus Jesus and I was just sobbing crying hysterically I I turned around I knew my girls were gone I turned around from where we were walking and I ran back and I, I ran past the building where we were walking and there they were sitting right there just safely and soundly and then I noticed um, something told me in my spirit actually the Holy Spirit comforted me and said this is just a dream and you will be with your daughters together and then that dream ended um, before it ended actually I had collapsed to my knees and in gratefulness and and um, relief and then that dream went on to another dream and I forgot about that dream so I knew that it had nothing to do with God but it seemed like God had visited me in my sleep and gave me that dream so um, I just wanted to share those three rapture dreams and I hope that this these dreams can connect with somebody else's heart uh, when we pray to the Lord he speaks to us on a on a time that we are uh, all ears and listening and in deep slumber and that's when he loves to talk to us the most because we don't have any distractions and you know our minds are vulnerable to to him so um, I hope this wasn't too long of a dream uh, I'm, I'm sorry too long of a, of a video um, if I have any more dreams I will be posting again but uh, I have never had two rapture dreams um, connected or close together because again my first dream was in 2002 and I have these dreams in 2020 and they're very close together and uh, of the same of the same you know meanings so I hope this encourages more believers to post their videos um, and let's just reach people who are still sleeping God bless you guys all I love you all see you one day in the clouds bye